I've seen some tinfoil hats recently and I'm a bit worried the ones I've seen don't seem to be designed using good science. So, as a materials engineer, I thought I'd help with some science-based advice. The goal of a tinfoil hat is to shield a person's brain from electromagnetic radiation like radio waves. Most people will want to block the radiation used by modern electronic devices. So your hat needs to be designed to block frequencies of 100 kilohertz up to 300 gigahertz. Just my two cents, these frequencies are still considered harmless, but I'm not here to judge you on why you want to block them, I'm just here to help you block them using science. The goal of a foil hat is to make it act like a Faraday cage. This is an enclosure made up of a conducting material that shields its interior from external electrostatic charges and electromagnetic radiation by distributing them around its exterior and dissipating them. Take a look inside your microwave. Ever notice the metal mesh on the front? That's a Faraday shield. Now, most of the hats I've seen have used tin foil, and this is an okay material. I should say that tin foil is actually made from aluminium, but you knew that already, right? Aluminium has some electromagnetic wave blocking capabilities thanks to its electrical conductivity. There are, however, much more conductive and therefore more protective materials that you can use. If your budget allows, you'd be much better off with making your hat out of gold, silver or copper foil instead. Next, you have to think about how thick your hat is. Thicker materials help to block lower frequency radiation, so I suggest using at least 10 separate layers of foil for good protection. For the best protection, these would be layers of different materials, so alternating aluminium, gold, silver and copper foil for an incredible shielding system. The biggest problem in the hat designs I've seen is that they only cover the top of your head. Electromagnetic radiation can still get to your brain by entering underneath the hat. An effective Faraday cage needs to fully enclose whatever it's shielding. So for actual protection, your hat will need to run all the way underneath your chin and around the front of your face and the back of your head. So there you go. If your goal in life is to create an electromagnetic radiation shield for your brain, even though science shows that these frequencies are harmless, it ideally should look something like this.